Hi everyone, this is Chris at saltwaterwitch.com. Check out all my astro stuff over there. This is more of a teaser than anything else because I'm not ready to do a deeper dive into the new ZWO AM5 yet. I think it's rare that world events affect our astro purchases, but with the continuing pandemic and shipping difficulties, I finally received my ZWO AM5 mount seven months after ordering it. I placed the order December 28th, 2021, and this beautiful piece of technology arrived yesterday. So I knew it was going to be delivered yesterday, got the notification from UPS, but uh, before that, it was like the, in the days leading up to that, I started a list of tests and things I was curious about with the mount. I know guiding is a clear one and everyone's doing that. Definitely going to run some guide tests because that's a, an obvious first step. But what else? So here are four things I, I have done, I started on and will continue to uh, work on as I uh, dig more into the functions of the mount. So my first one, I'm, I'm grouping under adaptability. So one of the first things I wanted to verify is the Ioptron CEM tri-peer adapter wanted to use, see if that actually would work with the CWO AM5 mount and looks great. Over the years, I've moved from one standard mounting point for my tripods and piers. I have a heavy duty tripod, a small test pier, I call my winter pier right off the back deck. And then my big pier about 30 meters from the house in the backyard. And each has this six by eight inch, which is roughly 152 by 203 millimeter mounting plate drilled to accept for clamping screws. I have an aluminum plate on the mount side and for the EQ6R Pro, Orion Atlas and others, I have, I've drilled and tapped holes to attach the Ioptron tri-peer adapter. And that the, the EQ6R Pro one is the 8036-TK, because I think Takahashi is also in the, in the, in the uh, list of, of supported mounts. And for the CEM25P, I used the 8036-25 adapter. So the CEM25P and the ZWO AM5 both use a standard 3 8 inch center mounting bolt. And th that made it easy. It works great. So I, I, I also have the ZWO TC40 carbon fiber tripod for travel, but I don't, I'm not going to use the mounting plate for that. That's purely about uh, portability, which is my next uh, section. So I see a lot of ZWO AM5 owners focusing on these large scopes in OTAs, how the mount handles a C925 or a large refra refractor. I find this interesting, but my focus is entirely different or maybe just narrower. I, I already have a mount for my large scopes, the RC and the eight inch Newtonian. Portability is my top priority for the AM5. And the largest scope I will probably ever use with the AM5 is my William Optics GT81. And my SpaceCat 51 is the main scope I plan to pair with the AM5 and the TC40 carbon fiber tripod. One of the first things I want to accomplish is to get a full Astro setup in one backpack or bag. And so I may have to do some camera backpack shopping. So next is compatibility. So I'll be doing full imaging runs with Nina and ASCOM on Windows and Ecos KSTARS Indy on Linux. Although I have used a bunch of different astrophotography sequence and capture tools over the years, I seem to have settled on Nina and Ecos as the two that get the job done. Both are heavily supported and they have a similar feature set, at least everything I need, polar alignment, sequencing, framing, full astro device support, multi-star guiding, and more. I don't have plans to buy an ASI Air, but I totally appreciate the ingenuity that went into the design. I mean, one tiny red aluminum box for everything. That's device management, imaging, power distribution, do control, all driven through your phone or a tablet app. That's genius, especially for a portable rig. So maybe, maybe someday. And then finally, the one thing I, I also want to kind of play around with and is I'm calling it non-meridian flippability to, to stay with the ability uh, suffix there. Compatibility, portability, non-meridian flippability. Since the balance is less of a concern with strain wave gear mounts, harmonic drive mounts, I want to try moving the scope forward, making it front heavy to the point where the camera and cables at the back 
clear the mount base at any rotation, effectively removing the need for a meridian flip. I'm just wondering if anyone has tried this, because Rainbow Astro, Hobum, there, there are other, uh, there have been other harmonic drive mounts out there for a little while. I just haven't seen anyone try this. So I did order, just order a, a Lost Mandy 14 inch dovetail plate from High Point. And the plan is to swap out the stock William Optics Vixen dovetail, and we'll see if this works. So that's my, well, actually longer teaser video than I anticipated, but uh, that's it for now. Clear skies, everyone, and uh, we'll see how this cool new ZWO AM5 mount works and goes. I'm expecting uh, some great things.